Okay, so the search engine tab allows you to customize your search engine tags, your search engine meta tags, I should say. So let me show you what that is. Right now, these are all blank except for alt text. And what I want to do is show you the default functionality. If you leave these blank, what you'll get as far as search engines go. Um, so you'll notice that the title of this particular page is my store dash pocket monster. My store is the store name. And then pocket monster is the product name. So if you leave these blank, that's what you'll get as your default option. Um, if you want to override that, you can do that. Like so. And now you can see the title of the page is my custom title. Now that's the title is the only one you can actually see evidence of on the product page. The other ones are behind the scenes in source code. So if you view source, you can see uh, right here under description, meta description and meta keywords, it's just adding the product name. And remember those fields are left blank in the admin section, but it is adding my custom title to the title node. So let's see if we can set up a uh, different product description and keywords. Now you'll have to refresh the page and I'm hitting control U in Firefox to view source. You can also usually just right click and view page source. So now you can see this is the this is the A description. Very nice. Nice work. <laughs> and uh, keyword one, comma keyword two. So there's our list of keywords that we added. Fix that and save it. The no script block is intended for people who aren't using JavaScript. Uh, almost all, well, all modern browsers browsers allow you to use JavaScript. Um, it used to be that that JavaScript was brand new, but that's not really the case anymore. And people used to use the no script block to put keywords into because page visitors would never see those keywords, but but Google search engine bots would. Um, but, but now it's, it's best to just leave that blank as far as I know. Um, the alt text is what shows up on your product image as the alternate text. So alt text is intended for screen readers, people who can't actually see the image, so they need a description of it. Um, and if you right click on an image, you can view the properties of it, and you can see the alternate text is one of those properties. So in this case, it's the name of my product, Pocket Monster. This is a feed description. You can enter a, a non-HTML version of your product description here, and this is where your feed will pull that data from if you do set up product feeds. Um, the reason they give you an extra field here is because a lot of people will put fancy HTML into their product descriptions and uh, those product feeds really don't don't usually support that kind of HTML so they just want plain text descriptions of your products but for the most part uh, this is just left blank so the mappings tab this is where you control where your products show up on your website um, you've got all your categories and departments listed here and you can see I've got this one mapped to the shirts category. Okay, over on the options tab, we've got related products and upsell products. These are just kind of cross-marketing options for your product page. So you can enter a comma delimited list of product IDs. If you want to know where to get some product IDs, you can go look at a category 
and better yet look at the products for a category and you can see 50 and 51 are the product IDs for these two products if I wanted to add them as my related items I just go to the related products text box on my pocket monster and I can add 50 51 and I'll throw product 1 and 2 in there as well and I'm going to do the same thing for upsell products it works the same way and they these two just behave a little bit differently and I'll show you how that affects your product page okay so I got the related products here and you can see the upsell products showing up as well so the related products just allows you to see some products that are similar to this particular one and click to those product pages the upsell products does the same thing except you can actually add these items to your cart right from this page if you'd like um, by checking the checkbox and then when you hit the add to cart button both this product and the upsell product will be added to your cart at the same time so that's related and upsell products you can actually apply a discount percentage to your upsell products and requires products uh, this this will automatically put a product in your shopping cart when you add in this case the pocket monster to your shopping cart if you added a required product such as product 50 um, and you hit add to cart on the pocket monster page it's going to add both product 50 and the pocket monster product to your cart um, on sale prompt this is the text that shows up in front of the sale price for your product so on sale for is what I've got selected now and you can see that just shows up right here and there's a bunch of options I'm going to switch that to grand opening sale price there we go and you can see it switches it there and if you don't see what you want in this list you can you've got control over this list under configuration pricing and promotions these sales prompts here you can add and remove as many as you'd like 